So, I guess you all know that the stories we read and see have quite an impact on our lives or are important for us. So I have a bunch of books and movies and I just thought I'd tell you what these stories taught me in my life. The Little Beach Street Bakery by Jenny Colgan. Um, this is a book about Polly who loses her job and her husband and and then tries to find happiness again. And this taught me that happiness needs time and sometimes even just a change around you. Anyways, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, and this taught me that nothing is what it seems, mostly because of Captain Jack Sparrow, whom you never know on whose side he is and whom he fights for and what he fights for. And there always, always is a plot twist with him. So nothing is what it seems, no one is what they seem, and everything can change just in a second. Next is The Timekeeper by Mitch Album. This is a really, really sad story. Well, actually there are three really sad stories. The lives of these three people are connected. I'm not gonna tell you how. <laughs> um, and this taught me that our life time on this earth is limited but it also taught me which i think is even more important that there's always someone who cares about us and always someone we can reach for to help us next all the bright places by jennifer niven 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 jennifer um and this taught me that helping others, as good as it is and as good as the intention of helping and saving others, doesn't always mean that you get saved. And that sometimes you have to think about yourself before you save others. Next is a documentary about Josh Sampson, awesome dancer. He won, um, I think, the X Factor? Um, Britain's Got Talent. He won Britain's Got Talent at a very young age. He's the dancer who plays Eddie in Street Dance. And this taught me that, that nothing should stop you from what you love. No matter how hard it is to, to um, defy the obstacles and no matter how unrealistic it seems, if you want it, then you can do it. Now You See Me taught me that the real magic and magical things is that you believe in the magic. Reckless by Cornelia Funke. It's, um, I think I mentioned it before, it's about fairy tales being real in a different world and this boy who switches uh, between our world and the fairy tale world. And this taught me, amongst a lot of other things, that you can't always do everything on your own and sometimes it's good to be sometimes it's good to have help and you don't need to be ashamed of that and you don't have to block others out or push them away sometimes you can just let them help you and everything will be fine next we have golden by jesse kirby and this is a really awesome story that I would suggest you all read. Um, it's about Parker who just finished school and now she has her life ahead of her and she has all these dreams and everything is planned out but that's not what she wants. So this taught me that dreams don't always turn out the way you want and that sometimes they aren't meant to be. Next we have Ruby by Sarah Desson. Um, this is about Ruby who is left by her mother and then um, comes into this whole new situation when she starts living with her sister. And this taught me that 
happiness can always find you, but sometimes you have to let happiness, to give happiness a chance to happen to you. It won't always happen itself. You also have to be ready to be happy and to see happiness. The Last Elf by Sylvia de Mavi. Um, it's about the last elf. <laughs> um, and this last elf doesn't know much about humans. And every other elf tells, told him that humans are horrible and the humans he meets they were always taught that elves are really cruel and that they kill you with their magic. But then both find out that that isn't really true and that they shouldn't have listened to those stereotypes others were putting on, but that they should have met the others and that now they can have their own opinion and that that is really important. Struck by Lightning by Chris Corfer and this is probably my favorite movie ever. It's about um, Cast the Sky, played by Chris Corfer, um, who's also ready for school and now has to live his life, but um, he doesn't have, he has a plan, but nothing turns out as it should and he's from a really really sad environment and really depressing environment and this taught me that even if the people around you always tell you you can do it and that the people even when the people around you try to bring you down that you have to stand up for what you believe in and stand up what you're passionate about then we have the dance movie fame sing and dance movie fame um, and it's about the older students living um, have their lives at this musical arts school. Um, and it taught me that only because you made it doesn't mean you made it. Because only because these people are in the school now and that dream came true, they still have to go through school. And after they made it in school and after they're done with school, they still have to make it in real life. So I guess it never stops. You always have something new. There always is something else to do. Here we have Band Slam, another musical kind of movie. movie. And this taught me the importance of friendship because um, the main character is really lonely and then we have these two girls and they are lonely in their own way um, and the friendship they start to have basically saves them all. Then the Disney movie... Oh, come on! Then the Disney movie Aristocats. Um, it's about cats <laughs> and this taught me that sometimes strangers can be, can be better friends um, than your mutuals because okay I don't want to spoil anything but let's just say he's much more nice <laughs> than the guy they trusted before then we have my favorite book Stormcatchers of Aradon from Jenny Mano Yen I'm still not sure if that translated into English, sorry, I couldn't find it out, but yeah, still. It's about um, Hale, who lives in this magical um, country or magical world, basically. My favorite character in this book is not any of the main characters, not even the like second row characters, but it's Totomi, who only gets mentioned about three or four times, but she's my favorite character because she is told to be the weakest of these four people that are another story in this book. <laughs> um, and there are these four people and she is told to be the weakest of them all, but in the end it turns out she kind of was the strongest and bravest and she was better than all the others. And I really like that they can do more than you would expect them to. Then 
we've got Into the Woods, um, fairy tales combined with music and this taught me, as it says in one of the songs, nice is different than good because only because someone's nice or they seem nice doesn't mean they are a good person and only because you know someone in your life who is always friendly and who is always nice doesn't mean you can count on them to be there for you because nice is different than good and friendly is different than friendship and last but not least selection by Kira Cass where I just found out that they're now doing the next generation and I'm still not sure if I want to read that um, this taught me that there are way more ways of loving than just the love for like a relationship but there are, that there are also the love for family, the love for friends, the love for an idea, the love for strangers who share that idea. This book just shows the whole spectrum of love. And that's it. Um, of course I've learned a lot of other things by a lot of other stories and I could go on and on and on about it but that's some of the most important lessons I've learned and I hope you liked it and maybe that you will tell me some stories you've learned by books or movies down in the comments I would love to read that um, and maybe that some of these stories or some of the lessons made you smile because that's the most important thing I'll see you next week. Goodbye.